first off, I apologize for taking so long and making this video. I had just a really busy day and I also apologize that I didn't have really a chance to kind of plan out exactly what I want to cover. So this is going to be a little bit here and there, but I hope you'll bear with me and I hope this will still be really helpful. I'm going to share my screen with you and just walk you through everything that I've been learning um, in the last little bit about site speed. Last September, um, we went really heavy into trying to improve the site speed of, of my company called crescendo.com. It was um, some pretty strong advice that we've been given in terms of SEO and conversions and, and all sorts of things. Uh, just obviously the value of site speed is incredible. And so uh, we hired a developer. We spent a lot of time. We tried tons of different plugins. We're using um, a bloated uh, theme on WordPress. If we could turn back time, uh, we would not probably use the same theme, though it is all right. And um, this is just a, a peek at what our site looks like. The theme we use is Avada. We use LearnDash for our courses. And then we use a host of other plugins like Rank Math, WordFence, and a bunch of others. We had been using WP Rocket until just a little while ago. We had tested something called Auto Optimize. We had tested a bunch of other um, caching speed plugins. One thing we hadn't done yet was set up a CDN. We are hosting our, our website on AWS, on, in particular with an EC2 instance rather than Amazon LightSail. But if I could go back in, I'd probably just do Amazon LightSail because it's a little bit simpler and it's also just as fast as far as I can tell. Um, so we had pretty good site speed scores, um, but we were sitting in the 80s for our desktop and we were, we were abysmal in our mobile scores on Google site speed. So we were, I mean, 20s for some of our pages, um, 50s when we were doing really well. Um, but then, you know, we'd update a plugin or we'd update our theme and it's like we had to start over every time. And so it was this big, big mess. It was not particularly fun and stressful for us and our developer. Um, and with the tools.pingdom um, website speed test, we had gotten it to pretty consistently and like the low one, so like 1.2, 1.15. And then um, we made this change that's actually pretty simple and I'm gonna show you what I did. And it's not witchcraft, it's awesome. Um, it's, it's really cool. Basically you serve your pages um, with like a, like a static page um, and it's just all cached and ready to go. And we have separate caches for our mobile versions and our desktop and also our tablet versions. And um, it uses a CDN that's set up on Amazon Web Services. And um, our, our speed, as you can see, this is like psychotically fast. Um, and this is with bloated Nevada. And you see this has, it says 218 requests. It's really weird because when I test the same page, and I don't know why it does this, um, on GT Metrics, it says there's only 15 requests. I know there's a bunch of things going on. It's just strange. But in any case, we're happy with our speech. Our, our speeds, super happy with our speeds, super happy with our speed scores and why slow score and um, just everything across the board. We've noticed our bounce rate has dropped already since we made this change. Our, ses our session durations has, has also increased. So those will have great SEO value. And actually we've brought down our cost for our website and I'll explain why. Though the plugin that we got that is doing this wizardry for us does cost some money. Um, it doesn't have to if you want like their logo and things on your page, but we didn't want that and we wanted some of their um, more robust, but it's not that crazy. It's like uh, like $200 a year. And we, we spend um, on our site because of the level of traffic and things that we get. We, um, I mean, we spend, we had been spending about 200 a month for hosting. And um, now because we're using this service, it actually makes our hosting demands less so our hosting's down to like 120. And so overall, we're actually saving money using this approach and we got rid of our WP Rocket. We got rid of everything else we had been doing to improve page speed. And those weren't very expensive, but they add up and they're like annual costs to get their support. And so um, what we used was this tool, called, this tool called Nitro Pack. And actually it's really sweet. If you go to their website, nitropack.io, 
you can put in your website and it will give you an estimate for how much faster they think they can make your site just by installing their plugin and setting it up. And the setup is so simple. And I'll show you some of the, the basics. And also I'll show you where I got kind of like tricked up in my setup of NitroPack. Now, NitroPack isn't the only company that does the kind of static um, uh, uh, serving of your, of your web page. And, and it doesn't speed up all our pages because the ones that you log in to get to you know, that you have to have special access for. We don't cache any of those. You know, we don't cache um, the dashboard when people log in and they see their courses and it's tracking their, their course progress and everything and all the courses. We don't worry about that so much because, you know, once they're in, they're invested and obviously we don't want our site like super slow then, but it's not going to damage our SEO. It's not going to impact our bounce rate and everything. And so our good hosting and learn dash, you know, should be good enough to get people through that. But, um, you know, we've got 600 plus pages that are just articles and things getting people to our website and building our SEO. And we need all of those to be lightning fast. So we rank as high as possible, you know, in Google search and, and all the other searches. And so, um, yeah, you can put in whatever, whatever site you want here, you know, um, and I, I'm pretty sure they only work with um, WordPress, but that might not be incorrect. But if you are using WordPress, I mean, this is the ticket. And there are other ones, but this one I found to be the best price and seem um, to be the best deal overall. And so I'm super, super duper excited about it. Um, and so, and um, I actually, they're gonna give me a discount code that I can share with any of my friends. And so um, I don't have it just yet, but I will make sure I get it to you guys if you want it. Um, and you're interested. And so I, I think it would be like 10% off, but that's cool. That's more than what I was able to, to get off when I got it originally. Anyway, so I'm getting the, I, I get like the $19 a month version of it. And that gives me about a gig of, well, it gives me a gig of caching. And then it gives me 20,000 optimization a, a month. And so that what that means is if I change a page and I purge the cache for a particular page, then it has to redo the caching and that's another optimization. And if I purge all my caches across the board, so right now I've got 611 pages cache. So if I hit this purge cache button, I'm not going to do it. But if I did that, then it would get me up another 600. And so 20,000 is a psychotic amount. Um, you can get more if you use, you know, a plan where you pay more, but I really can't foresee. And I mean, we've got a, a pretty good number of pages and we're adding pages all the time, but still 20,000. And I had been setting it up, you know, when I started this on June 6th and just doing some testing. So, I mean, we purge caches a lot. Um, anyway, so if you use like their $19 a month plan, which is what we're doing, that should be plenty enough unless you've got a psychotic amount of pages. And I recommend actually, if you do get it and you do set it up, that when you get the plugin, this is what it looks like within your WordPress dashboard. You see it's very, very similar, um, but you have some settings in terms of how much you want to optimize. You know, it's probably good to start with medium or strong and test it out, make sure it's not breaking things. I just went straight up to ludicrous and it caused zero issues. Um, granted, I had to get rid of WP Rocket and everything else in order for it to work right. I have tried manual and you can just go through granularly and um, I kind of liked it because um, you can control things like the swapping of the font face. If you don't like the font faces changing, if you have a Google font, you know, um, and you don't have a system font and there's, there's a bunch of things you can do there. So you can experiment. Um, Ludacris has worked really well for us though. Um, we don't like having the automated caching purge. We like to control when we're pushing updates. We don't want it to just happen. And so, you know, if you create a new page, you don't need to worry about clearing anything. It's just new page. And once someone goes to it, we'll start caching it. And, you know, if someone goes to it on a mobile device, it will cache the mobile version. Once someone goes to the tablet version, you know, it will cache the tablet version. Once someone goes desktop version, it will start caching that. Um, and I've liked just being able to control manually. You can go within each 
post and you'll see like over on the right side, there's a button you can click to purge the cache for that particular page. If you change that page and you need to update that, but you don't want to purge for everything. And this button here will just, you know, purge the cache across the website. And so all 611 of these guys would be gone. Um, <clears throat> There's something you can do to speed up the caching though. It's called this cache warmup. And um, the way you set that up is on your Nitro Pack account. So um, you set up a Nitro Pack account first off, and then you go in and you just install the Nitro Pack plugin, which is pretty lean. It, it's not a big deal. Um, you probably want to test in a sandbox or something. That's what we did just to make sure it wouldn't break anything and it didn't. And, um, and then you can roll out. And um, if you go to your Nitro Pack account, you can set up your cache warmup. And so you can, you can specify where your home page is and you know everything that's on your home page and everything that's linked to from your home page will be cached and queued um, automatically once you, once you run the warmup. And so um, when you click this little play looking button here, it will queue up everything that you've got listed down here. And then when you hit okay, it will start optimizing all those pages. And I've already optimized these two, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, I use rank math, and so I've got a few different site maps. I've got a post site map, I've got a product site map, and I've got a page site map. And so I just did a cache warmup with all three of them, and that just sped things up. So people don't have to go to the pages in order for them to start caching, I can just preload them. So even like the first people to go to the pages will get the lightning fast version of the page. And when you roll the sitemaps, you'll get both the mobile and the desktop versions of all the pages or posts or whatever's in the sitemap or whatever's linked to from your homepage. Um, in terms of the tablet, as far as we've been able to notice, people have to just go to the tablet pages directly. So I've just hopped on my tablet and gone to a bunch of the key ones just so they're kind of queued up and they're in the system. It seems once once Nitro Pack has cached a page, it's it's got that in its memory and it will go back and recache it in the future. Um, you can see here the pages that have been cached by going to this kind of double check mark and you can um, filter on the you know the type so we don't have a ton of pages that have been cached on tablet there are a few um, but not a ton the big ones are though um, on the des desktop version we've got a gazillion and then mobile version we've got um, a, a bunch as well so those are all the pages that have been cached in terms of connecting to your website super easy to, to connect if you work with other plugins you know speed plugins it's just on par with that or maybe even a little bit more user friendly and um, so I've just basically set everything here as default and so let's see what else I wanted to show you so I showed you the cache warm-up um, I showed you some of the settings the optimizations um, if I want to delete the cache for a particular page, I can also do that through my Nitro Pack account. Um, if I want to just jump to the page speed score, score I, can, I can do that for any of these pages. Um, on my dashboard, it just gives me a basic summary and shows me overall you know, page speed scores and how I'm doing, and I'm really satisfied with those scores as I've reiterated before. Okay, so some tricky things are, uh, well, actually, there's really only one. Thing that gave us grief and it's not that complicated it's just I wish I had known in advance because it just slowed us down just a few minutes and it was um, if you use a security plugin like we use WordFence um, there's a pretty strong firewall and you have to whitelist some IP addresses that are associated with Nitro Pack so Nitro Pack can do all of its magic and so um, if you go to the Nitro Pack website and you go to, let's see, somewhere there's a help. Here we go. And you just search like IP addresses. I think. It will give you a list of all the IP addresses you need to white, whitelist. And so you just copy those guys and you just paste them in if you're using WordFence. Wherever, wherever within your firewall, you know, that you need to have you just need a whitelist, all those guys, so you just paste them in. And so we did that. Um, 
and it fixed the problems that we were experiencing. Um, that, that was really the one little hiccup that we had because this, we didn't know about this until, um, we came across the problem. And so, um, and, and, and it didn't break the site. It's just pages weren't caching and it said, you know, look into your firewall. We're not able to do what we've been wanting to do. So anyway, so nitro pack is, Phenomenal. I think they're a fairly new company. It looks like they've only been around since the start of the year. Um, total godsend, miracle workers. What I love is I don't have to obsess about page speed anymore. We can do any of the changes we want on our site and they're going to refurbish them and reserve them um, for us. And so we have control you know, over the caching, over the purging of, of caches. Uh, it's really nice. It doesn't cost that much. It's, I mean, so $20 a month again for what we purchased and it's brought our server costs down because everything's going through, you know, the cash. It's not actually burdening our website nearly as much. Um, and so uh, it's, it's been awesome. And like I mentioned before, they're going to get me a discount code. So if you're interested in checking it out and trying it out, which I highly recommend that you do if you have a WordPress site and you're worried about page speed and you want to just simplify your life and get rid of all the millions of plugins that do your page speed and just have one. Um, it's, it's really, really amazing. And so um, as soon as I get that, I will put that um, down in the description to this video or in comments where I've shared this video. You can definitely use that discount code and get going with it. Depending on how they set it up, I think I might get some um, like affiliate payment from them. So I'm a big fan um, and I've talked to him a few times about different things and I'm happy to support him any way I can. But uh, if you want to support me too, you know, you can use that discount code and win-win. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. I want to be busy the rest of the weekend, um, but I will respond. You know, if you put comments on this video or comments on, you know, any Facebook post that I share this on. Anyways, I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you stay safe. I hope things, you know, are going well for you.